Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another great episode of Bahrain Now, your source of local initiatives, happenings, talents, and trends. I'm your host, Bara Abdullah, here to walk you through our exciting lineup of segments and personality from around Bahrain. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'm going to talk about a local organization leads with passion and continuity to serve the local community with various activities by effective members. With us today is Faisal Juma, the president of the Rotary Club of Salmania. Well, good evening. How are you, sir? I'm very fine, thanks. How are you? I'm excited to know more about the Rotary Club itself. Uh, so well, tell us about it. Well, um, it was the Rotary Club of Salmania. It was established in June 1971 oh, wow. by 30 charter members, Okay, some of whom left the other Rotary Club, the mm. Rotary Club Manama, and it includes prominent members like uh, Abdallah Juma, who is my uncle, okay. Khalid Al Mayed, uh, Khalid Zayani, oh, wow. and Sheikh Isa bin Abdallah Al Khalifa, mm. who became the first president of the club in around, I think, 1971 to 1972. Wow. wow. Um, the club, so this is going to be our 50th year. And Amazing. I am the 50th president. You are the 50th president. I'm the 50th president. How do you feel about that? Uh, very honored, actually. Okay. And it's sort of like a full circle because my uncle is one of the founding okay. members and I'm the 50th president. <laughs> <So> <laughs> it goes into a cir nice circle there. Amazing. So I can only guess like, you know, pretty much when you're like on the, on the table with the family gathering up on a Friday and you and your uncle have passed on some of the challenges and Ch all the yes, stuff that takes all place. The, all the pro past projects mm. and it and we became closer because of, of my I membership. Imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. So now with this being said, 50th anniversary. Yes. Congratulations for Thank that. Definitely. Tell us about your projects. We um, started this year. Um, a quick explanation. We start from July and end in June okay. of the next year. That's your fiscal year. That's the fiscal year, if you like to call it that. Okay. Um, and we started in July with the uh, the art project. Okay. Or the art program. Okay. Um, which we did a two day, uh, sorry, three day workshop mm. for the Bahrain Deaf Society. Okay. And day one, we did like an art painting program with them. Day Amazing. two, we did a uh, mosaic art. Wow. And day three, we did a clay a caricature, so creation. Okay. And the people who were conducting these uh, workshops were members. Two of them are members. Mm. Uh, a previous president, Seema Baqi, and our newest member, Riham Youssef, okay. and a volunteer, Salah Boushehri. Amazing. So they took time out of their busy schedules to, to do this voluntary workshop for mm. the Bahrain Deaf Society. We did a, something called Green July. Okay. And the idea is to promote recycling, uh, reusing. And what I did was um, I collected all the plastic bottles from our members. All right. And we delivered it or deposited it or threw it away yeah. in the recycling bin of the Bahrain uh, Friendship for Disabilities. Okay. They have this program where they take all the plastic bottles and they sell it to a local recycling facility. Not bad. So, and which, uh, what we did was using social media is to promote the idea of recycling. Mm. We call it Green July, hashtag Green July. Hashtag Green July, amazing. And we asked all of our members, rather than using plastic, think of alternative sustainable materials containers. So, you know, these reusable metal bottles. So I have one in my office. Okay. So, um, which I use every day at home. So instead of reusing plastic bottles, you throw them away. You just get, take one, you know, Aqua cool, you know, the big ones. Yeah, why, why? Uh, uh, I don't know what you call them, but the big containers, ones. Yeah, containers, the big, yeah, the big, big water containers. Big water containers. Yeah. Um, 
and you put them into the you know your metal okay. or any other material uh, you know reusable materials mm -hmm. rather than okay. single use plastic uh, so that was going on okay in in, in july uh, August came around. Every month you have a project? Every month wow. we have a project. Very busy. Very busy, yes. Uh, it was, it's a challenge okay. I put to myself and, or, and, and the team um, where we want to do a project every month. For 12 months, yes. one year long, yes. non-stop, back to back. Back to back. And in August, we did another art program, okay. but this time for the Down Syndrome, mm. the Bahrain Down Syndrome Society. And uh, we did a similar, you know, uh, painting, mosaic art, and uh, clay. Okay. Um, we call it clay recycling. K clay recycling. So pretty yeah. much repeating the same thing you've done even in June, but yeah. for a different uh, for a different uh, group society. Yes. A different society. Uh, in August, we did. I can't remember off the top. Uh, sorry, in September, we started an e-waste campaign. Oh wow! With Zane. Okay. Uh, what we've done is that. Um, they, they provided us with a container okay. in Zane headquarters in Sif. Right. And um, any, any member or anyone ha who has uh, some old appliances, Electronics, telephones, right. electronics, electronics appliances, exactly. just dump put, it there put and it will be recycled. And because e-waste causes a lot of environmental damage. Definitely. Definitely. And uh, we want to promote e-waste recycling. If I can stop you for a second here because right now, we entering September, each month is a campaign on zone. So how do you come up with all these ideas? It's, I listen to uh, my members, if they have an idea. For instance, this idea, the e-waste campaign came from uh, Sheikh Abdullah, who, okay. who was again, a previous president of our club mm. and his full-time job is in Zain. Okay. Ah, okay. He, he mentioned this to me that we have this going on. I said, uh, and uh, we thought of combining our efforts uh, Green July was our member, Iham. She came up with this idea for Green okay. July. Okay. So, uh, and we do some research on Instagram. We see, right. we get inspiration from other Instagram accounts and okay. see what they're up to. Amazing. So, so September so heading to October. October, we have Green. Uh, again, not really. Uh, we started our Green Greenhouse project. Greenhouse. Oh, wow. We, again, took the uh, Down Syndrome Society. Okay to a greenhouse and we teach them how to plant seeds. Amazing. Again, is to encourage sustainability, um, you know, growing, farming. Right, right. Uh, we had help with Uthman Janahi. Okay. He helped us with the greenhouse. He provided it uh, in his, very kindly provided from his, um, from his plantation, from Amazing. his farm. Amazing. And we took the children there, we planted the seeds mm. and they enjoyed it. And we'll come back in January to okay. harvest the crops. Amazing. So we're how teaching cool them how, how the process of planting and farming and regrowth. How cool is that? Um, so again, we're going to do another, we did an art, uh, art program for the Dream Society. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar with the Dream yeah, Society. Yeah, the Dream Society, of course. Yeah. Uh, children with terminal diseases. Right. Um, we, we, they were very appreciative of what we've done. Amazing, that's beautiful. So we did a day, two day program with them. Okay. So, so now our future or my big project, yeah. or our big project, I should say, is F45 playoffs. What is that? It's part fundraising okay. and part community service right. initiative, where we're going to do, if you're aware of F45 gyms in Bahrain. Okay, yes, yes. We're going to do a joint project with them. Oh. They're gonna, we're going to do like a sort of weightlifting circuit training competition. Okay. And we're going to have three rows of um, weights and three, a team of three people will do, will, will go like a train. Okay. Move from one station to another station to another station. That's phenomenal. Push-ups, weightlifting, something. The whole nine yards. The whole, the whole nine, nine yards. yards. Yeah. Ten stations all the way to the end pull-ups and, and sit-ups and whatever the program <laughs> yeah. is. Um, that's up to F45. They will provide the program. They okay. will provide the judges. Well, big shout out to them. That's for sure. Of course, shout out to them. And uh, what we will do is, of course, look for teams, anyone who wants to participate. Okay. Um, the fees will go to a, a uh, will go to a uh, campaign that we're working on. Wow. Uh, most likely it will be your dream home. Okay. Um, you know, to help uh, to look for one of the um, 
houses that need repair. Okay. Wow. That's wow. that's uh, one one I uh, and what I want to do this year uh, okay. for this project is to encourage athletes with disabilities to participate. Amazing. That's and, beautiful. And we, I'm thinking of um, somebody, you know, athletes with, who are deaf. Okay. Um, athletes who are disabled, you know, physically. Sure. Uh, from the Paralympics, if mm. they're willing the Paralympics, to, yeah, that would be course, great. Yeah, actually, the yeah. Paralympics committee. And they're really good over here. Yes. They're really active. Yes. We did a project with them, I think, three years ago, two to three years ago. Okay. With the bowling, we we call it challenge, the challenged. Um, and no challenge bowling challenge for the challenge that's amazing yeah. I mean, and wow. we we invite the people from the blind uh from the disabled society from the community we had some orphans and the uh committee the paralympics committee joined us as well and the idea is that that's we want amazing. to inspire them that don't be limited by your physical you can right. do things beyond your your bodily capabilities Amazing. And uh, Amazing. We, this is what I want to recreate with the F45 playoffs is to encourage people with all parts of our community to work together. That's a full time job. It's like, I was like, I asked, like, how is he managing all of that <laughs> with him working for sell money as well and all of that? Because right now we have a f like a year long camp, like, yeah. one campaign to another and each one of them has a lot of details how do you manage all of that you and the team i mean you're doing an amazing job well i have um, the way that our club works we have a board of directors and we have um, 12 board of directors okay and two of them are are we call them chairs mm. so i have a very good I'm very happy with my community service director. Amazing job. Seema Baqi. Oh, wow. She worked on all of these projects, the ones I mentioned. Wow. Um, we have, of course, the secretary who does all the paperwork and all that. Every And, and, and a treasurer and others. So it's not, I cannot take the full credit. I have to give some of the credit to the board of directors who worked very hard. We have different committees. We have the uh, youth service director, mm. Hanadi Lansari, who is going to start work with the youth. She just came back from our holidays. Okay. And welcome back. Welcome back. Yes. <laughs> and you know, straight to work. <laughs> <laughs> the poor thing. <laughs> like I just came back. <laughs> so, we're we're gonna do a youth leadership program. Okay. With the Toastmasters, with the Manama's Toastmasters oh Club. Oh wow. And we're gonna do a joint is to again, speech crafting, and leadership. That would be amazing. And of course, we're doing uh, a Raila with the other Rotary clubs in Bahrain. Uh, sort of a joint big Raila, which is Rotary Youth Leadership Awards, which mm. is again leadership for the youth, for university, right. for teens. Yeah, right, right. Uh, it's a lot going on. There is a lot, a lot going, going on. on, and it's like we're even halfway through, huh? Uh, yeah, not even program. halfway <laughs> through, but uh, I, I, because I'm very passionate. It shows. To, it really to shows. For to do service, and um, one of your questions, I think I'll, I should answer this okay, question. Okay, well, please go ahead. The ones I received earlier. Oh, okay. I should be saying that, but I'll just... Go ahead with it. Um, you asked, what's the mission of the Definitely, Rotary? what is the mission? The mission is to provide service to others, promote integrity, um, to create understanding in the world, mm. promote peace and goodwill through the fellowship of... Uh, business and community leaders. Wow, uh, very clear and very direct and definitely very noble. So using these, so this basic mission of ours, we want to do promote peace and goodwill to our members of our community. Bless you. And uh, we do this through the five avenues of service, which is community, youth, vocational, uh, international and club services. Wow. And each one has their own, each person who takes this position okay. has a duty to fulfill that, that amazing role. amazing wow it seems like not only that you are clear with your mission and vision and again congratulations for the 50th anniversary Thank you very much. and you know I'm sure you being the president right now a lot is happening you know and everybody's like pretty much appreciating your work but again big shout out and big gratitude is revealed to every member of the club right now we're in November right now what's happening this month this month we're going to do a art program okay. for the um, 
Oh, I should know this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. You got no, a lot no, going on. No, so no, it's okay going on. for you. No, no. We, uh, we, we are speaking to one of the blind societies. Okay. And we want to do a project with them, a workshop. Okay. Amazing. Um, it's going to be something unique this uh, year because it's, wow. it's an art pro program for the blind society. How can we join? How can we follow up? You can join by, of course, if you're passionate in doing service charity work, um, you have to attend some of our meetings right. so the members would get to know you because you have to join a committee so the members have to be familiar to, un to know so please you I mean anyone is welcome to our regular meetings for real um, because of the situation we have some meetings virtual and some meetings we started it in person physically okay in the I mean we used to do it in the golden tulip mm. before the pandemic but uh, for safety reasons of course and health we yeah. went virtual well, again, it depends on individuals. Some people are not comfortable being in physical space, and okay. some people um, are prefer to be physical. There you go. So you have a choice. Okay. Uh, contact the uh, membership chair, who is Sheikh Abdullah. Um, you can follow us on Instagram. We will do that. Um, I don't know if you're going to put like a little graphic we here. We will, sir. With yeah. the Instagram Definitely details no, so there. People know how can they actually contact yeah. you so and follow you So up. contact us on, uh, on Instagram and follow us see what we do and uh, we have s we f45 i mean this is the best opportunity why don't you join us in f45 amazing and as a team as a volunteer as an organizer as something uh we can start there right and then see how you enjoy the experience and then if you if you like the experience you can join us full time wow. as a member there your content is rich it's exciting yeah and it's very charitable we would like to say thank you so much for you and your team for making this happen. Like since starting from June, July, up until November and onwards, I can only imagine how amazed we are right now and everybody else by just listening to your projects. So big shout out to you. Our sincerest gratitude is revealed to you and your members, definitely. Thank you very and much. And we yeah. cannot wait to actually see you again for other projects taking of place course. right here on Bahrain. You never know, I mean, me and the kids may just pass by, Please you know, for come. the F45, you know, get myself welcome. all, you know, all like stressed and broken bones <laughs> after <laughs> the workout. Yes, yeah. But don't you worry, can. we got doctors here, <laughs> Salmani is here. <laughs> You're more than welcome to participate. Thank you so much. Well, it's been a pleasure having you, right you us very much. with us right here on Bahrain now. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, non-stop excitement, but at the same time, a lot of humane works all taking place with the Rotary Club of Salmani right here as we took an interview with the president himself, Faisal Jamal, right here on Bahrain Now.